up you guys finally Von and perfume down back at you with another video now this video you may not like because i'm going to come with some unpopular opinions or maybe it's already popular and i'm just slept well i'm woke now if you like fragrance if you love smelling good if you love smelling good go ahead like share this with someone else that likes smelling good and go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit me up on Instagram. It's Violet Violet Perfume down on there. Information listed below. Let's get into this video. So one of my Perfume Mafia members went ahead and sent me some samples. They're like, yo, you are asleep. You need to wake up. And I did, okay? They told me that I really need to try Back to Black, Killian, Aphrodisiac, and I freaking did. And I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed, you guys. I really need to get you guys. If there's anyone out there left in this world that hasn't smelled this fragrance, then look. We were late to the game together. I think this fragrance is freaking amazing. I think it is probably the sexiest fragrance I've ever smelled before. And let's get into these notes, okay? So the notes are not listed in any particular order. I don't know if they're like top notes. I don't know if they're base notes, however they are. It's a bunch of notes in this fragrance. And let's get into it. So the first note that they have is going to be uh, saffron. They also have bergamot listed here. They have raspberry, they have chamomile, which I'm shocked because I usually hate a chamomile fragrance, coriander, cardamom, nutmeg, so you can get an idea that it's going to have some spice to it, but it's not going to be too spicy. It's going to be uplifted by that bergamot note in there. Um, and then it also has some woody notes. It has oak in there, okay? It also has uh, a little bit more spice with the patchouli. Um, it has tonka bean in there. Taka bean, taka bean, <laughs> taka bean can be a little bit creamy, it can be a little bit sweet, can add some depth to it, a little bit like the nutty, almost like a woodiness sometimes of fragrances, and that's how it leans itself here. It also has Virginia cedar, so going back to more wood. Um, it does have a lot of a floral component, but it doesn't overpower more of like the sweetness and the woodiness. So it has French, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce this, French labdenum i don't know how to pronounce that but that's a flower that's in there it also has another flower um it has the chamomile as i stated before um it also has geranium in there uh but this is not a floral fragrance to me the prominent notes in here to me is that it has that benzoins but this is the best one of the best benzoin fragrances ever forget about prada candy prada candy is great but if you think that the waxy note in there is from the benzoin it probably is but it does not do that in this fragrance i freaking love it everyone's out riding their motorcycles because it's a nice day and they're tired of being stuck in the house i understand i understand okay another very prominent note in here is going to be the gingerbread isn't that isn't that so unique of a freaking note so clearly this is a synthetic but it just goes back to that spicy sweetness that this fragrance has that makes it so sexy spicy sweetness so that's why they say it has the gingerbread but it does definitely has a prominent gingerbread note in there okay it smells very very nice it has a warmth to it and that's why it goes back to the gingerbread no it does have that warmth to it and tonka bean can really add some warmth to a fragrance as well so yeah totally has tonka bean in there um it has white honey now that sounds very nice it doesn't have that sappy almost like sometimes honey can lean itself waxy again but with the benzoin and the honey in here it doesn't have that waxy element at all like i really like how it's done to where it just adds even more woo, supple sweetness to make sure you just want to turn to a honeybee and just jump on something. I'm telling you. Um, and then it also has that vanilla in there. So that adds to the sweetness as well. It has a very, very prominent cherry note. And that's what makes me want to say that this reminds me of Lost Cherry. Okay. It has that very prominent note in there. But then it also has a tobacco note. And I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. But I feel like there's like a woodiness incense smoky tobacco type air about lost cherry as well so the fact that this one has that tobacco and that cherry note in there really makes it similar to lost cherry to me but the performance on this joint oh it's so nice it's strong it's long lasting but it's not slapping in the face this smells so great you guys you're really left with like Literally, it just smells like honey. Like you're about to, ooh, it just smells so, it just reminds me of the honey that I put in my tea. Like that very nice, sweet, ripe honey that you put in some tea. It does have that ripe cherry note, but I just love it that it's not too feminine. It's not too girly because it has that very nice tobacco note to even everything out. And the, the, the taco bean does the same thing. 
I like it that it's not too woody. It doesn't have too much of the cedar in there to where it really levels the playing field to makes it more masculine. Everything's perfectly balanced in this thing. I really, really like this fragrance. And I also like the fact that it doesn't have that much floral. I feel like this fragrance doesn't need that much floral. The, the perfect balance between uh, the, the woodiness, the sweetness, and that ripe cherry, that's what really does it. I love the addition of the vanilla. Vanilla and tonka bean really combined together to make even more of a creamy concoction. And that's what this fragrance really has. Dare I say this is the one of the sexiest fragrances I've ever smelled in my entire life. I mean, this is perfect for evening wear, perfect for fall, winter, but it's so good. You're going to want to wear this all freaking year long. You're not going to want to just save this for fall, winter. I'm telling you, this is one of the sexiest fragrances I've ever smelled in my entire life. It blew Lost Cherry out of the water. I don't want to hear about Lost Cherry no more. Unless you're going to give it to me for free. Come on, sponsor it. Hit me up. But seriously, though, this is a better fragrance to me. This is, when I when I think about grown, sexy, cherry scents, this is what I think of. And I feel like this is what Lost Cherry wanted to be. I mean, this is the perfect, ooh, just the perfect combination of masculine and feminine in a fragrance. It also kind of reminds me of that girl on uh, La Petite Robe Noir, how that kind of has the uh, combination of like a leather and a cherry. So like that masculine and feminine. But yeah, I love this fragrance and I'm freaking obsessed. And it's taking every fiber of my being not to run out and purchase it right now. It also has another one of my favorite notes, Ooh, which is amber. Amber's so good about really adding the roots to a fragrance and rounding it. And that just adds a little bit more depth. And that's why it makes you want to feel like, oh, this is perfect for evening. But the fact that it has that cherry in there and that raspberry and the fact that it's white honey, which is a little bit more uplifting to, than regular honey, just makes you feel like this is perfect for any time. The bergamot does a really good job of that too. Just adds like a citrus freshness to fragrances to where it doesn't get so bogged down and so deep to where you can't even smell it anymore. Really good scent. The performance is really good. To me, it sits, you you leave a trail. You do leave a trail when you walk into anywhere. It does sit a little bit close to my skin, but I like that one. It just leaves a trail and it, it lingers. It's not pronounced on me to where it's punching people in the face, but I like that. And that's why I can also say that it's very versatile. You can wear it to the office. You can wear it out on a date. You can wear it to the mall. I think this is a perfect fragrance for a woman that's really looking to add a fragrance to her uh, collection that's niche. If this is gonna be a niche fragrance, one of your first, and you want it to be a safe buy, this is a really good one. Does it have a pretty a pretty price tag? Yes, it freaking does. Is it worth it? Yes, it is. This is one of the best blended fragrances I've ever smelled in my entire life. I've been so slept on this fragrance, it's so good. Literally, at the dry down, I've had it on for about an hour now. The dry down, you're gonna be left with that cherry, that honey, and you're gonna be left with that cedar. Tonka bean, not so much raspberry, which I wish there was a little bit this many, much more raspberry. That would have made it tilt the scale to a little bit more feminine to me, because you know I love very feminine fragrances, but I'm happy with the um, presentation of how it is now. And for that reason, I do think men, if I know some men that watch my channel, Man, I feel like you would really like this one. I think a lot of men already wear this one, but I think this is a really good one. You can actually use this to layer. If you have a fragrance that's like very masculine, if it's like heavy um, in the woodiness or if it's heavy in the tobacco and you just want to uplift it a little bit, maybe just add a little bit sexy to your own fragrance. I think this is a perfect addition. So start with that fragrance. Start with the one that's very heavy and then add this one on top. And I think that that cherry and the raspberry in there, and even though you can't really smell it, the floral components are really going to help to make it a little bit of a uplifting fragrance. You know, if you're rocking it with the man I'm talking to, with your more masculine, rugged, tobacco, leather, ooh type fragrances, this is going to be a nice combination. I'm telling you, your woman's going to be like, yo, come here. I'm telling you, this is a really good fragrance. Do I think it's worth the price? I do think it's worth the price. I really do. And that's kind of, I keep saying that because that's kind of like the main draw for me. Because, you, you know, I'm a huge celebrity scent person. But when a fragrance is done well, it's really done well. And this fragrance is really done well. 
that's my only complaint i just wish it was a little bit more raspberry for me but if you guys know any fragrance that's similar to this one i would love to try it out and really see if it's worth it and actually just for me because i do like a little bit more feminine i will probably combine this fragrance with the cherry delight from be layered because that one has a little bit more of like a sweet uh tart type of cherry scent just to add it on top but it still has its roots and something special but yeah thanks so much for watching i'll catch you guys next time peace